And it's like, but when it's a bar fight, is mm. that not true? Is that not true? <laughs> well, it's a little blurry. A so, is it? That's her yeah. with a bottle. Right there. Mm -hmm. That's her with a bottle. And little that's phone. Ashley trying to get her to stop. Hold on, put the bottle down. Because she was about to whoop Deborah's. Okay. But listen, listen. Here's what I want to know. Where was that energy for Monique when she had you in a headlock? Where was that energy for Monique? You was up in the wine cellar. Plenty of wine bottles nearby. Barrels. Barrels. Okay. You have plenty of wine bottles nearby. So what is it? What is it that made you want to cry? Whimper in a corner, cry at the reunion, but right here, you want to grab a bottle. So don't tell me you really about that life and you just been faking with us all this time, being a crybaby. You've been being mm. a crybaby. Crying time, wolf. Running away, but yet you want to get a bottle when it comes to... What's that? Hacked it all the way back. I mean, all oh. the way, like... What's Deborah gonna do? I mean, she's saying what she said. You look like Sesame Street. What you gonna do? But look, addressed her. I didn't say it. She said it. But my thing is, look, you you better stand by it, Candace. You better stand by it. Don't back down now. Because see, my thing is, Candace is always talking about accountability, accountability, stand on your words. You know, when Giselle or Robin say something, she wants you to stand on it. But she's like, oh, the help is talking to me. The help is talking to me. Oh, no. Keep that same energy. You should have said, yeah, and I said it. And you look like Sesame Street. But see, the issue is it was Wendy that had an issue with Deborah because she was saying that. Was she saying that Eddie was flirting or something like that? Happy something Eddie. Like that? Yeah. It was issues with that. But my thing is, Ms. You Candace, see that fake hug? I did. Hey, Deborah. I did. <laughs> but my thing is, it probably caught Wendy off guard because she probably wanted to throw some shade like, eh, no, girl, I'm good. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Remember Nene, Nene, can, can you? Hi. But see, but see Nene know how to th throw that throw that shoulder. Like, ah. Throw them both. Ah, girl. Nah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm ready for Miss Candace to go. I'm ready for her to cry her last tear. I'm ready mm. for her to put down her mic. The I'm last tear and the last dance. The last tear, the last dance, and the last solo. Okay. Song. Okay. Because we. I'm over her. I used to root for her, but now it's like, girl, all this crying and caring on. You worried about Robin. You, you have no reason to be mad at Robin. You have no reason to be mad at Robin because you hate how Robin doesn't take accountability. And, you know, first of all, Robin doesn't take accountability for her own life. Mm. He went Juan. Juan allegedly oh, got so many people out here. That's the T. You know, mm. allegedly, mm. you know, creeping around. And so if Robin is not able to take responsibility and accountability for her own life, her own household, her own husband, why on earth is she, would she stand up for you? Why on earth, if she don't have the wherewithal to do it for herself, how is she going to do it for you? You have to learn with your friends and people you hang around. You need to be able to differentiate between your lunch buddies. <laughs> Your people you kick it with, have a drink with, mm. and people you call somebody that's a friend. And I feel like Candace don't have the discernment to know who's a friend and who's just a lunch buddy. You're a mm. coworker, girl. Unless she's using this for a storyline, I think it's whack. I think it's it's time for something new. It's time for All a right. new. All right. 
So are we considering her a colorist? Because I saw that a lot online too. Like this is a thing. Like, Absolutely. is she a colorist? Absolutely. She wants to sit up and tell Giselle, you sit up here with your proximity to whiteness, get married to a white man, then say, I don't want no dark or light-skinned kids. What kind of BS is that? It's not adding up. How is that even allowable? I saw a comment that said, Ironically, I think she suffers a lot from internalized hatred. What do you think about that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought that was interesting. She's projecting it onto her cast members. And she has her own insecurity issues, which she needs to go to therapy. Now, I would love to see her in therapy. Let's Mm. go see her in therapy and let's follow her, you know, her journey with her colorism. They, um, um, we're saying she's doing a lot of talking about color recently. Like it's a lot, it's overwhelming. Like what's going on? Color, yeah. color, color, light skin, dark skin. Where did this, like, is this her MO? She's a, she's definitely a colorist. I mean, she's the one, it's different when you want to bring awareness and accountability to something that's happening to you. But this is the nail in the coffin. When you say, I have a fear, I am afraid. Um, mm, having light skin children. That is just as dangerous as saying, I don't want dark skin or brown skin children. That That's horrible. Nobody chooses their skin color. And it just spew, spewed out so just easily. Like she had been pondering about this before. Like she had been thinking about it. Like My babies are like, going to be brown. And like, she's talking to a light skin woman who's doing the interview. Like... Just running your mouth. Like, I have people on Facebook, some light skinned friends who was just like, I, I used to like Candace. I used to root for her, but I can't deal with this anymore. This is disgraceful. Like, legitimately, light skinned black people. Like, it's all a mess. Like, it's all a mess. She need to go on and put that mic down for her singing career, honey. And she needs to, only thing she needs to do. Is maybe going to acting 